Welcome everyone. I hope everyone is doing great. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to extract the raster value to point data. So you can see here, I'm just having up the point data as well as I'm having the raster data. So this is the raster which is containing the elevation. So basically, this is an SRTM data which I have downloaded from the Earth Explorer. If you want, I have made a video on it how to download the data. I will be just putting it in the description. You can just check it out. So let us move into this video. And you can see here, this is the raster data. And I'm going to use uh, points. Likewise, you can use uh, any sort of points. You, you can have any sort of arrangement. And you can extract the raster value from this. You can use uh, elevation data, uh, LST data, NDVI, NDWI, any, any kind of raster data. And you can extract the values from the raster data. So now, you can see here, this is the point data. Let me open the attribute table and show you. So in this, uh, you can see there is only three fields are available. So let us see how the results come out after uh, extracting the values. So in order to extract the values, uh, you have to see the ARP toolbox here. You can find the tool. So spatial analysis tool. Under that, you can find the option extraction. Beneath the extraction, you can find the option extract values to points. Double click and open the tool. So if you don't find the ARP toolbox here, you can just uh, you can just look at the top. You can find the ARP toolbox. You just you just have to click it and it will be appearing over here. And uh, here we need to input our point data. So this is my point data grid height label, and I am going to secondly uh, input the raster uh, data. So I am going to input the SRTM data. Likewise, you can input LST data. NDVI or if you have a rainfall data, you can put rainfall data, any kind, of, any kind of data. Finally, select the output location and just click OK. So it might be taking a few seconds and it will be completed. So as you can see here, it has been completed. And let me open the attribute table and check it out how it looks like. And you can see there is a uh, separate field has been created. So in that you can find the raster values. So now let me click on any of this value and uh, double click on it so that it will be automatically nav navigating to that point and uh, let us cross verify the results so this is the region the po where the point has been located so now you can see the option identity tool let me use this and let me check out the raster value here and you can see here it is around 102 uh, now let me label this uh, attribute that is a uh, point data properties and uh, navigate to the option label from labels we need to select and you can see the option a label field here we need to select the raster value now let me apply it and click ok and finally once again right click on this point data and select the option label feature you can see here so this is uh, 98 and uh, let us check You can see the value which is 103 and yeah as you can see here here in this pixel you could find that this is having the pixel value of 98 so likewise you can extract the information from the raster using this technique so if you have any doubts in this, you can just ask in the comment section. I'll be answering to your questions. So thanks for watching. Goodbye everyone.